And under the sun took time out today to check out the solar eclipse. It was the first coast to coast total eclipse in nearly a century. And it brought people together like few events can these days. And we have team coverage. Jennifer Kastner is live in downtown LA where people poured out of office buildings to see the rare sight. Jennifer. But we're going to start with Randy Page. He's at Griffith Park Observatory. Randy. And Pat, this was the place to be. You know, Griffith Observatory is a special place on any day. Make it a day like this and add a solar eclipse. It was truly spectacular. Here's the view from Sky 2 up above. A whole lot of people turned out today to take part in this and to watch from this location. Now let's take go down to the ground and here's the view from there. Gotcha. There it is. So many ways to witness this cosmic event from up close to far away, from tracking its shadow to capturing its image. While some children describe what they were seeing. It's like moon shaped, but like orange and stuff. It's like a yellow moon. Other kids describe feelings a bit more down to earth. Bit too hot. The grounds of Griffith Observatory packed with people from many races, backgrounds, cultures, and countries. There are people here from Korea. There are people here from Japan. I saw some people from Africa. Who've come to share the moment the eclipse is at its peak. The collective experience of seeing a, an event of this size, a cosmic event, to experience it at that human level, something so wonderful that has amazed and confounded people for centuries that, you know, with science we understand now what we're seeing, but it's still doesn't take away the wonder of it and the excitement of its, what a unique event it is. At a time when political forces can pull us apart, a time out to share the wonder of a common experience together in Los Angeles and around the world. Sense of community, especially right now in this particular time, just the coming together and sitting with your neighbors and, you know, the inclusivity of an experience like this, it's sort of beautiful to share it with everyone. It taps into that thing that's unexplainable that brings people together. And I think it has to be on a cosmic level, unfortunately, at this point, to make a difference. And, you know, maybe we can all carry a little bit of it away today. Two, one, Los Angeles, Certainly no one was disappointed, although it was a partial eclipse. No one seemed to be disappointed about that. This is really a spectacular place, as I said, to watch it. Because you not only get to watch the eclipse, you get to share it with so many other people. Let's go back to you. Ah, oh, what a sight, Randy. Well, across the country in Washington, D.C., President Trump and the First Lady watched the eclipse from the Truman Balcony at the White House. Now, Washington, D.C. experienced a partial eclipse. The moon covered about 81% of the sun there.